We live, man. We live, man. Yo, yo, yo. Look, who we in the building with, man? Count, you already know. Count C. Randy in this bitch. The usual. North of Virginia. Got a few of the twin in them boys behind You know, that's family. Okay. Same old shit. We at the, the pull-up show at Mount shit. Mm. Mount Fisher. No. Oh. Regular shit. Regular, regular North of shit. Okay. Look, man, um, you just released not too long ago, uh, No Tears. No, no Tears 3. No Tears 3. Yeah. Let me get it right. Stormy, the third installment of the No Tears um, series. Okay. Coming up on, um, I don't know if it's, this about to be exclusive. I don't know if I want to drop AP4 or Diamonds Are Prettier. So, I don't know which one I want to go. Because I'll be introducing you to the Diamonds Are Prettier series. It's Dave King. We got the flows of hoes. <laughs> Tape out the joint, the joint two coming jump. soon. Flows old two coming soon. We you know he's sending verses back, but yeah. So we just dropped No Tears three. You know uh, that was just a little appetizer. I ain't really like the budget behind it was small, so you know. But go yeah, yeah go get there on all streaming platforms. Okay, look man, I ain't never um you know we ain't do the full. We gonna do another sit down interview. Yeah, yeah But of yeah. course I gotta touch on some key points. Yeah, yeah. Um, where you from, man? Let the people know where you from, man. North of Virginia, Granny Park to be exact. You know. Okay. But I was raised uptown a little bit too, so Young's Park in there a little bit, but Granny Park, Wiley Drive, Kimber Turns, Ballantown, all that. Okay, look man. So when you think about. <laughs> Grandy Park, like the hip hop scene, or as far as like the rappers that came up out of there, what names come to mind? If somebody was like, yo, some rappers before you, who come to mind? Champion Elite back in the day. They the niggas that influenced me, fucking raw talent, illegal, Ocean Keys, my boy Trey. That's, and that's family to me, so we still, like, I still speak to most of them. Uh, Burger, fucking my nigga Brian V. Nigga, the whole hood was rapping, but the first nigga I ever seen rapping on camera, bro, was my nigga chilling. My nigga, my nigga Troy doing, I don't know how many years. He was the first nigga, though. He locked right now, but he doing like a life deal. But yeah, he was the first nigga I ever seen rap on camera. So them the niggas. You probably don't even know most of them niggas, but yeah. Okay. Now, what what was it like growing up, like in Granny Park? You said you spent most of your, your younger years in Granny Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Growing up, where I was like, well, I learned all my lessons. That's okay. where I was at with it. Okay. What was it like? You know what I'm saying? Growing up there. Uh, I want to say regularly, like regular poverty things, man. Like homies getting pop, nigga shooting, hang activity, regular shit, nigga. I was cool with things. I thought this, I thought this shit was regular, like. Nigga been in Georgia, Gallup. Nigga, we ain't never travel outside the hood at that age. Like your parents ain't got the like your parents ain't got the bread. Like your parents, like your parents ain't really got the bread to send you to different areas. Nigga, I wanted to play AAU basketball. Niggas was willing to pay. My mom like, nah, fuck that. So regular shit, like regular hood shit. Homies getting pop. I'm catching homies up. That's regular, that's regular shit to me, like, you know? <laughs> who, who, look, look, so let me, let me, um, what's the story behind, it's, it's, it's a guy that I know was always out, Granny Pop, right? Uh-huh. What's the story behind my man Marv, man? Marv. Marv. Which Marv? Hold on, you, hold on, hold on, you don't know Marv and you from Granny Pop? Hold on, hold on. Hold up. You talking about ice cream? Marv used to come through with the Bible in his hand. Yeah, hey, Marv. I haven't seen Marv in a minute, man. I see Marv in once in the in the city one day. I'm thinking, how the hell you get out here, Marv? Marv walk and catch the bus everywhere. Mm. I used to, but we grew up seeing Marv in every day. I think I think Marv had a tab. At the ice cream jump, and uh, and uh, who was it? Frosty? But we called him, no, it was Buck Buck. Marvin had a tab with Buck Buck, bro. So every day he come through, every day like clockwork. On the days that he did come through the hood, he coming through. Marvin getting two ice cream cones every day, and a Pepsi, man. Mm. Every day, religiously, bro. <laughs> so yeah, Marvin, yeah, Marv definitely a grand and pot legend, bro. Okay. Him, him and a, him and a few others. And it, what, what some other names, man? We, Damn, you know, we used man. to ask about Granny Park. Like, if you, See, you from got, Granny Park, you gotta know these people. Arnold Rock. You said Arnold Rock. 
Rock, man. Who is that? Whoa. Honor Rock. If you um uh, in one of my songs, I forgot. I think it's um uh, it's one of the cap misses on a rock with twist your nipples if you didn't represent. So I don't want to come through if he threw up the fist and you ain't throw the fist with him mm -hmm. or count him. He was gonna he was gonna twist your nipples. <laughs> Fuck him. We got we got a couple of other legends that we looked up to, but you know they was doing their thing, so I ain't really gonna say they name. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like a whole a whole bunch of members. I'm trying to think, man. Shit. Nigga, one of my grand partners right now, Bree. What's up? Good going. Oh uh, shit, I'm trying to think of the grand part legends, man. We got we got a we got a lot, man. We got a lot, but yeah, man. Grand and part is where a lot of shit originated at too. Like the cub, niggas in the city was not saying cub. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Niggas Wait a minute. City. Wait a minute. <laughs> you saying cub originated from Granny Park? When it when it come to North, cub niggas in the city was not saying cub. Like before the hood started doing what it was doing with the activities they was on, niggas, mamas and daddies was saying cub. So you know. Niggas in the city won't say cuz like the Granny Park niggas, man. Like, like my uncle and like my uncle Frey, rest in peace. I remember niggas saying cuz like, hey man, sweep my mama living room, cuz shit like that. So, yeah. Okay. When you like a Granny, as far as Granny Park, man, ain't Granny Park like a blood neighborhood? <laughs> <laughs> no man, it's the, back in the day it was the total, it was the total opposite, man. Oh, it was GDs. I, I, if you know, you know. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I ain't familiar yeah, with yeah, you yeah. know. If you know, you know, man. If you know, you know, you know. Oh. Okay. But it was active, man. It was definitely, it was definitely active at one point. Shit, but I heard it's back active. Mm. You know, so you know. But when you, but when you in that, you know, environment, you ain't got no choice but to do what you gotta do to get back. Okay. Yeah. So a lot of the youngins out there out there in survival mode, and they ain't really step foot out the hood. Most them young niggas step foot out the hood, they see the world where they really got to offer. Either you ain't gonna want to go back, or you just ain't gonna never look back. So, yeah. Okay. Now, like I know, like in the city, you know, of course. We always have like certain neighborhoods that might beef with another neighborhood. Yeah. Did Granny Park have like a long-term rival? Like, who? What was that neighborhood? Damn right. They we always was, said Granny Park rival. Yeah. Fucking Ruffner. We was. We got in. We in. We in. We in rides. We got in rides with Ty with a Park. It's crazy. I still be seeing niggas today that I fought in school rides and we cool now. Like that shit, you know, that's back in the day type stuff. But yeah. Yeah, tire, tire water pop. Whoever, whoever, a lot of times it was over a chick now. I remember niggas would be sliding on y'all's pop jokes. Mm. They boy for whoever found out that they want to rumble. So I guess it I guess it depends though, but I know I know back in the day, you know, we was up, like we was into it with the uptown niggas. I say law. So so okay. So saying that, <clears throat> Grandy Park is not considered uptown. Nah, nigga, we on the island, nigga. Okay, all right. Cause a lot of people like when they talk about what's uptown, you know, I hear a lot of different neighborhoods get thrown into that, no. and it seems like nobody has a consistent, like solid, yeah, geographical, uh, nah, I you know what I'm saying, area. It's, it's crazy cause you got, cause you got. Cause you got the up, you got the uptown, you got the south side. Before you get, when you when you leave the uptown, you go and right before you go over the Calistella Bridge, if, if you make that left into that cut, mm -hmm. it used to be able to take you to Grand Park, but they but they doing a whole bunch of construction, so now it's like you can't get to the hood that way. But it's neither one, cause it's not over the bridge and it's not uptown. Okay. So we on, you know, we always been a little, I, like I feel like we always been the most most conservative hood. It's still, it's still poverty shit going on, but you know, we carry a little different. Okay, so, so speaking of, cause you a Norfolk native, yeah, right? Yeah. What is considered uptown? Like, what? How far does uptown stretch? You got Young's, Huntersville, Kerr, Tidewater. Uh, fuck. You got pop. I don't, I don't know if they consider pop place up, uptown. I don't know. Mm. Uh, what's the hoods that they two down? Bowling Park, shit like that. Yeah, so bowling, those, bowling. So everything, everything passed north of the state, but in that region of downtown north, like we in downtown north right there. Any anywhere you could walk from downtown north and literally walk to there, I guess you could. I guess you can't consider it uptown, but Park Park Place low key a stretch. So 
I don't know if you could consider that, you know. Okay. So they like, so they probably like an alley they sell. So like, shoot is shoot park uptown. Yeah. Okay. Shoot, 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 definitely uptown. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want no smoke. They be like, hey, no, I'm just trying to get, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I just want to know. Man, they be like, nah, Cap, we seen it. We seen, we seen the interview. How you ain't gonna claim us? Nigga, I'm for granted. I just be uptown, nigga. Okay. Right? okay. Yeah. Look, man, let them know where to follow you at, man. Camp C, C A M P underscore C E E on everything Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, fucking Facebook. Camp C, C A M P C E E. Follow me, man. Let's get it. Follow me. I got more music dropping, everything coming. You know, nigga been dealing with personal life shit, as we all do. But I still been, I still been cooking. So, like I said, expect that AP4 or that diamonds are pretty. I don't, I don't know which one gonna come first. I might change the name. Who knows? But you know, first quarter I usually give you something to set the tone. And if you locked in, you know what to expect. You know my nigga go to key, gonna hold it down every time. That's what it is, man. Camp C.